Miss Veronica here and my friend Lily. And today we are going to read the book When Sadness is at, at Your, your door. door by Eva Elland. And this is a book about sadness and what it feels like to be sad. Have you ever felt sad before? Because I know I have felt sad before. What about you, Lily? Have you ever had feelings of sadness? Yes, a lot. Are those good feelings to have? No. no. I don't like those feelings. But it's a part of life. It's a part of life and everyone experiences it. And this book kind of just talks about things you can do when you're sad to help you make, help make you feel oh, happy. Happy. All right, so when sadness is at your door. This is sadness. That gloomy, chunky thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sometimes sadness arrives unexpectedly. It follows you around. and sit so close to you, you can hardly breathe. You can try to hide it. Should you try to hide sadness? No. But you can try to hide it, but it will most likely come back. Yeah. But it feels like you've become sadness yourself. Yeah. Look. It's weird. He is sadness now. It's not just following him. Yes. But try not to be afraid of sadness. Give it a name. Listen to it. Ask where it comes from and what it needs. Hello. When you feel sad, don't be afraid of it. Try and think, Wait. why am I sad? If you don't understand each other, just sit together and be quiet for a while. Sometimes we need some alone time, right? Yeah. Find something that you both enjoy, like drawing maybe. listening to music, or drinking hot chocolate. Maybe sadness doesn't like to stay inside. Try letting it out sometimes. Go for a walk through the trees. You can listen to their sounds together. Lily. When you feel sad, what are some things that you do that you find helpful to help make you feel better? I usually, like if I'm in a different room, I go to my room and I stay alone and tell people not to bother me and just don't let anybody come in and stuff. So be alone. You like to be alone? Yeah. And does that make you happy? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah, I see a lot. Does Even it, when I'm happy, I like being alone. Does it help you clear your thoughts? Yeah. yeah. When I'm sad, I like to be alone too. Or I like to go on a walk, go outside, and just think, why am I sad? What can I do to change this feeling? It's okay to be sad. But going for a walk, just like he did, going outside. Maybe sadness doesn't like to stay inside. Yeah. Maybe sadness likes to go outside. We have to think about what sadness wants too, right? And we're also outside. That's what also makes yes. us happy. That's, we decided to do this video outside because it's so nice with the fresh air. Yeah. You can hear birds but chirping. But it is really, really hot. <laughs> it is hot out today. All right. You know what? Maybe all sadness wants to know is that it's welcome. That you're not afraid of it. Maybe 
wants to feel welcome. <gasps> and to sleep, knowing that it's not alone. What does sadness become? Everything. His blanket. Maybe you can become friends with sadness. When you wake up, it might be gone. But don't worry. Today is a new day. Is it okay when sadness is gone? Yeah, of course. It's okay. When you wake up, it might be gone. That's a good thing. But when sadness is there, it's become friends okay. with your sadness. Yeah, and it's fine when you're sad mm -hmm. because even if sadness goes away for a little bit, it is still your friend no matter what because friends stick together for your whole life. <laughs> right. You will... Feeling of sadness is a human emotion? Yeah. You don't have it every day. No. Most of the time we're happy. Most of the time. But when we're sad, it's okay. Know that you're not alone. There are other people who are feeling sad in the world at the same time as you. And that there are things you can do to make yourself feel better or happy again. And first thing is to acknowledge it and say, I feel sad. Okay, I feel sad today. Tell your parents if you feel sad, even if you don't know why. Mom, I feel sad today. And that way they can help you try and figure out ways to make you happy or figure out why you're feeling sad. Because you want to know what? Sometimes you can feel sad for no reason. Yeah. You can wake up one morning and it's a beautiful day. Nothing. Bad has happened, it's a good day, but you still feel sad. And that's normal. Yeah, it's normal. And what you just need to do is find ways to take care of yourself and those feelings of sadness and not be afraid of the sadness, okay? And you can, and if you are like sad one morning or mad one morning, you can just, um, like go in your backyard, take, um, like, or in your front yard, you can get some fresh air and try to relax. Right. Meditation yoga works so mm -hmm. well. Um, and at the back of the book, it actually says, when sadness arrives, don't be afraid of it. Now, this book is a thoughtful way to help children deal with the feeling of being sad. I really like this book. Me too. I hope you enjoy the story and Lily and I's thoughts on sadness and what you can do to help yourself when you feel sad. Until next time, see you later. Bye! Bye.